A couple days ago, I had hired someone to come and see if they could repair the server. We just went into hiding, and we don't know. <clears throat> We're gonna turn on the server. I'm gonna turn it on. If we are able to restore the server, then like there are more answers for us there. Yeah. yeah. Is this it? This is oh. it. Oh, there it is. Okay. This is our last shot, Deb. What's going on, guys? This video is a mix of emotions. Uh, it really is. I don't really know how to start off. I'm just gonna kind of show you the whole day here because it's just not what it appears to be. So stay to the end because I need your help solving this thing. And I know that you guys are gonna be able to help me solve it. So pay close attention. Let's start the day. What's going on guys? Welcome to the vlog today. We've actually got something to do today. You gotta live with that. <laughs> she just gets up, she's like, am I on camera yet? Hey. <laughs> what you doing, girl? Do a yogurt review. Do a yogurt review. What flavor? You gotta eat it. Tell me about the yogurt. Peach. Peach, mm. and what do you think about the flavor? Yummy. What do you think about the texture? Yummy. Dope or nope? Mm, not yummy. <laughs> <laughs> what a twist. All right, so Tanner's staying with us tonight, yeah. today, yesterday, last night. Okay, hey, babe. <laughs> I just live here now, so yeah. <laughs> we're trying to make up excuses. Yeah. <laughs> I told them in the last video that you're, you're coming in from Vegas, but a couple days ago, I had hired someone to come and see if they could repair the server. What is also happening today, which is interestingly enough, FedEx overnight shipping actually on time this time. Pretty crazy. I ordered an Apple II because we got an emulator about uh, a couple days ago from Deb and the Apple II should be in. So if we can get that server fixed, Apple II connected to it, we could possibly contact Deb and see if it's all legit. So I'm hoping it was all just a scam. A yeah. ruse. A ruse, a ruse to fool us. Well, I hope so too. I was sad to see your heart broken yesterday. Yeah. But she wasn't. I'm seeing a little bit more hopium in you. Hopium? Yeah, it's the opposite of copium. <laughs> <laughs> means there's faith. You ready, Tan Man? Yeah, let's do it. do it. Let's do it. Also, before I head out, I don't know why I didn't tell you this, but yeah, Deb's phone number doesn't work. It just goes, it's, uh, what is it? What is it, out of service? Is that, is that what that's called? Listen, listen. Rideau. We're sorry. Okay. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. So, yeah, that's that. Her number totally doesn't work anymore. And I know, I know a lot of you guys were saying in the comments down below, that's Deb, that's Deb, that's Deb. But it's like, I don't agree with that at all. That doesn't, that doesn't make any sense to me. No, like, take a peek at this. Everyone's thinking that they hap it happened while we were gone, but I said in the video, as you recall, that it happened the night before, when the cleaning crew kicked me out. So it makes absolutely no sense that Deb would then pretend to be murdered. I'm, I'm a little confused, to be perfectly honest with you, because when the Absolate was stolen, it was stolen the night before we went to go meet Deb. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people are thinking it was while we were out going and meeting Deb and that's what she was doing here. No, 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 happened the night before. So there was no logical reason for her to then pretend a faked death. You guys follow me? There's, there's something else at play here and I just don't believe that Deb would, like why wouldn't she just ask me to give her the absolute? because I might have if she made a solid case. I, I could be convinced, I suppose, I don't know. I definitely wouldn't give it to Nelson. I, I suppose if I could confirm it was Deb. Anyways, let's, let's get to the studio, let's get to the studio. But you see what I'm saying? Like, how can that possibly be Deb just because she's got blonde hair? I know 20 people that have blonde hair. Look, in the, in the past video, you know, him telling us Deb was dead. Like, I don't even know if I, I, who is this guy and why would I trust him, right? So I'm holding out hope. I'm not really, I'm not gonna let this get to me because why throw out the baby with the bathwater, right? I'm just not gonna let it get to me. All right, we got Matt. We're just waiting on. Just 30 seconds late. Yeah. That's all. All black, I appreciate seconds. it. Thank you. Respect. Typhus, uh... Never mind. We don't joke about him. <laughs> Who was the first to check in? It can't be me. Uh, I checked in late. Sure. That's feeling goofy. I'm feeling excited and goofy because... Hold for the vlog. 
We're getting that server fixed. We're getting the Apple II in today. We're gonna figure this out. So we're gonna be able to talk to Deb. Uh, yeah, I, if we can get this thing up and running, why else would she send it to us? But anyways, let's let's continue. Oh no, you're totally fine. My headspace is just like I haven't <laughs> even been thinking about Deb at all. Uh, but Ouch. let's uh, no no offense. Sorry. I mean rest <laughs> in peace. Ugh, God, I don't know. <laughs> Lunchtime, we do this thing where we sit outside. In the it's shade. because the weather is finally so freaking nice. Yeah, it's exactly. It's a lovely day for a bite on the lawn. For a bite <laughs> on the lawn. We've got to set up the chairs, baby. We also do this thing where there's non-stop British accents. Of course, sir. I don't know why. Yes, sir. It's because of a card game we play, sir. <laughs> it's called the Great Damu Tea, sir. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> so Mike brought out just... <laughs> I'm about to do the same thing. Actual furniture. <laughs> See what I mean? So Everyone's yeah. British, I, you know. Oh. Every. <laughs> Are you uh, you leaving, dude? I'm leaving, dude. Bruh. I gotta leave before things get too spicy. Too spicy? What does that mean? I don't know, man. I feel like something spicy happens here like every day. So, <laughs> spice o'clock is probably coming up. <laughs> well, we do. Out. Guess what, Bailey? Yeah. We're gonna go see if the server will turn on. Right now. Well, in, in, a, in a minute. What if there's like an explosive in the server? Don't mean to be that guy, but I won't be here for it. <laughs> Why would there be an explosive? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the, the guy who's fixing it texted him and he said he, he, he did what he could. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, yeah. How, how are you feeling, dude? By the way, I haven't caught up with you. Do you I'm know? feeling better. The support of the team is nice. So thanks, guys. You gotta keep it light. Sometimes. Yeah, I mean, just a, a little bit sarcastic yeah. here and there. But it's uh, out of love. <laughs> Dude, you're ugly, man. Is that like how that works? <laughs> Not really, bro. Sorry, man. I'm just too straightforward with you, you know? Just like, yeah. I don't know how to be like goofy, like sarcastic. I'm just like goofy, <laughs> too honest. Okay, cool. Why don't you just head back to Vegas? Am I making you uncomfortable, bro? <laughs> All right, later, bro. Later, man. Let's go test that server, yo. Okay, so mute the TV, girls. Mute the TV. Before we get into everything, Mike, show us what you got today. I got bongos. <laughs> I commanded him to sit down right here and like what was strange enough, they were all sitting there already. So it's now it's the show time. Bongo they're, show. They're literally Bongo the same. Show. Uh. Bongo show. Bongo show. <laughs> wow, I can't play with my wedding ring. Would you believe that? <laughs> it's like, well, time to get divorced. <laughs> so in the beginning of the video, I woke up and I felt pretty hopeful because you know, where I had got the information, it just, it just didn't feel reliable. And so I'm, I, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna go out on a limb and just believe this guy. And so I had to start with the cards that I had left to play, which is to fix that server. <laughs> Sam. I'm here. Sam, you ready? Yeah, I'm rolling. Grab Bailey. Bailey, you, you coming? Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know you don't want to. You don't want to know. Well, who did we hire to do this? Like, do, do we trust our him? IT guy? I don't want to say his name because yeah, right. he hasn't, you know, signed an NDA. <laughs> I mean, does he know why he was fixing it? Like, what the purpose is? What? Like, we're gonna ex try to explain Deb to him? Yes. Yeah, so I did. I, I did tell him the info. And he was just like, "Oh yeah, that totally makes sense that you've been well, talking to someone via a server." Well. <laughs> Well, I mean, I know that. Wait, okay. What I said actually does make sense. Yeah. What do you think a server is? Yeah. Oh gosh. Okay, Siphon. <laughs> it's a cloud. Where's Woods? <laughs> Walks by it. <laughs> Woody? Yeah. We're gonna turn on the server. Okay. And well, let's hope this works. Uh, I hope it does. Ah! 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 Do you need help? Um. Okay, okay. <laughs> so what do you hear? Bongos. What is that? Oh yeah, Mike has Mike bongos. Has, Mike's got his bongos. Nice. Good, bongos. he sounds happy. All right. Okay. Um, I'm gonna turn it on. Okay. We'll see if this works. I mean, if, if we are able to restore the server, then like there are more answers for us there. Yeah. yeah. Does it look like it's in one piece? Yeah, there's definitely some dings and some dents in here. That's for sure. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm just gonna go from the power cable here. Three, two, one, go! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, 
So the server broke, <laughs> or I guess it was never fixed. But then we realized maybe that wasn't what was important here. And we came up with another solution. Okay. Are you okay? No, I'm fine. <laughs> Just half okay? expected me to come out with like no. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. What just happened? I turned it on and it didn't like it. It's broken. Oh, this thing's fried, dude. This thing's. Fried. I gotta get out of here. It stinks. Oh. <laughs> okay, so the server's just gone. I'll try to get the guy to come back out here, but <laughs> he was like, I fixed the parts that I could, because I, I told him not to replace you know, some of the components that I believed were going to, you know, like the hard drives that we needed and yeah. things like that. So, I don't know, something short-circuited and... How are we gonna talk to her without the server? I don't know. I really don't know. You have that chip, right? The emulator? Yeah. Or are we missing a component there? I mean, the emulator can technically be run without I don't know what's on the emulator, I suppose. Because we took it, we downloaded from this. I, I, I don't, I don't know. All I know is we used an emulator. <laughs> we were sent a new one. The one we used to use had a program that interfaced with that. And I was just assuming that the one we got sent now, again, is a program that interfaces with that. But maybe it's not. It didn't come with a chip, right? It, didn't it came with no, it, SD card. It came with its own SD card. So maybe that's something else. Well, she probably knows that the server's broken, obviously, because she hasn't been in contact with us. So it's possible that she sent the emulator with an SD card and to replace the yeah, server. It does watch her. OK. So yeah, maybe, maybe we don't need the server. OK, I'm looking to see when it's going to arrive, because it said today. When what's going to arrive? The Apple II. Oh yeah. Wait, what are we doing now too? To plug the emulator in? Okay, I'm lost. <laughs> Bro, do you remember that B27 kind of destroyed our last Apple II? So the emulator... No, I know that. Like, I don't know the mediums we need in order to communicate with her, so I'm like... Okay, I'm sure. sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a lot. Yeah. Wait. Package from FedEx delivered. So it was delivered an hour ago. Cat would have put it in the mail room or something. Maybe while we were having lunch or something. Okay, let's 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 see if that works. Yay, another apple too. <laughs> mail? Oh, this is for sure it. Let me get my knife. I mean, yeah, that looks about right. Dude, you gotta project. We're filming with a new audio system. I can't hear you from here. It's not new if you just take away our log. <laughs> <laughs> what? Can't hear you. I, I honestly couldn't hear him. You're also listening to just Matt. <laughs> no, I'm hearing you uh, here. Hey, when you have something quality to say, Woods, we'll, we'll, we'll give you a mic. <gasps> That's rude. <laughs> I'm infringing upon our second amendment yeah. rights. <laughs> In all honesty, we're, we're trying to, you know, I'm vlogging a lot more. And so, like, we're going to see other people, and they, they deserve to speak, too. So this is actually uh, equality. So get used to equality, even though you guys probably hate it. Is this it? This is it. Oh, there it is. The good thing about this is that we don't have to put this in Deb's lair. Ouch. Frick. Dude, did you stab yourself again? No. No. <laughs> no. To be honest, like that, I don't know, seeing another Apple II just makes me want to like back out. <laughs> Bless you. It's yeah. Same, honestly. Yeah. But now we get to be comfortable. We can put it in Matt's office. Yes, well, we can put it in uh, right by Megadesk. You want to relive that? You want to go pop it into that small, humid... <laughs> no. <laughs> the sweet smell It was already a tight squeeze for three of us down there. True. Yeah. True. All right, let's, True. let's set it up. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is our last shot, Deb. Let us not trust the evil G-Man. G oh, you have a nickname for him now? G-Man. Government man. I don't know. Oh, I thought it, you were shortening like Gary. Why are these lights not turning on? What did he do when he was here? Zyphus. Yeah, he sabotaged he your Philips Hue lights. Can you investigate down there, Woods? Looks good to me. Sounds like when you asked us to go into the void again. <laughs> Looks good to me, he says. Yeah, you're good. I, I don't know. Bro, don't say I don't know, man. Don't you're my fix-it guy. It kind of sounded like you said he's your sexy guy. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You're my fix-it guy. You're writing a fanfic in your head? You could lift these both at the same time. 
<laughs> the rise of Mega Desk. Oh, that Ew, so Sam. I've been out. I've been gone for freaking like a year, guys, and I haven't been able to touch Mega Desk. What should we do to Mega Desk? Down in the comments below. How do we improve Mega Office? Wait, what? Why is that not plugged in? Uh, <laughs> does, does my computer turn off? Uh, yep. Yeah. Well, no, it unplugged the cameras. The cameras. Oh, okay. So those are on. What about ah! now? Okay. Not, that's how you don't do that, kids. Yeah. You don't hot plug stuff unless you have money to repair it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set the Apple II up. I just okay. want more light in here, that's all. Oh, look. Oh, no, Sam. Sam. I'm sorry, but look, it fixes look. the problem. Turn, 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 turn. There we go. Oh, that's nice, actually. That's better. <laughs> Whoa. I don't want to be the person to say this, but be careful. <clears throat> She still works, or she looks like she's alive. Well, again, she's not shattered. That's what I'll say. Wow. That's strange. Ugh, this feels like we're just going back in time to that like era of our lives. I don't think I need to plug this in right now, so I'm just gonna not do that. I need the emulator. Here we go. So first off, we need to actually install it. Do this. It's been a while. Yes, right here. Right here. See this? Yeah, I gotta actually get up. <laughs> Getting all the pieces together felt good. Felt like old times, you know? I'd miss, I'd miss that. And was feeling good. I felt like we were really onto something here. Uh, and we were. We were. <gasps> She's good, y'all. She's alive. Okay. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna plug this into Megadesk, because we're right here. Yeah. And Megadesk, my beauty, will start recording. And then I'm gonna initiate this root disk. Here we go, see that right there? Okay, see that? I'm gonna initiate root disk. And then, if you wanna put that camera down, I'll set up these cameras. Great. Okay, are we ready for this? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to initiate sequence. Oh, the monitor's not on. Please your subject number. What? Yo! What? Oh my gosh. What is this? Ah, uh, this is, this is a program. Is that looks like a person. What do you mean it's a program? It's, it's a person, but it's a program. I'm not connected to anything, so it has to be a program. I'm going to put the rig down. Yeah, okay, okay. She said, what did she say? She said, state your subject number. Could we even understand what she said there? Yeah. Uh, just, do I just type one? I guess. I guess. And this is where the truth was revealed. Okay, um, one. Yeah. And return. Hello, subject one. Of the life known as Matthias. My subject two, three, and four with you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Alias. So your subject one first, Matt second. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What is this program? I guess our actual names. What? How can I help you? Do you remember how with the server chat, it kind of felt like there was like a default mode? to the D3B like program, but then obviously there were other times where it felt like we were actually talking to her. Yeah. M maybe this is some sort of like default mode that we just kind of have to like break into. That's what it seems like. I don't feel like this would be her response after not talking to us for seven, for seven months. months. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah but she also sounds like she she's not really there. She can't, guys. She can't be. Yeah, the, I I don't understand the science. There's of this. I like there's not even there's not a, a Ethernet card in here, like in the other card? Apple. A life card? Yeah. I don't know what that. Means. A I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> I don't either. I mean, guys. I'm I'm sorry, but Matt, you were just under a uh, mind controlling serum for the last seven months, so kind of all of my logic is thrown out the window. Yeah, like. But yeah, no, I understand. I understand. So what I'm saying is that this computer is literally just plugged into the wall. That's okay. it. 
It's not connected to anything else. It's not connected to anything else because it's running and we're not connected to anything else. If you recall, the past Apple II had a Ethernet card in it and it was connected to the server. Yeah, okay. My assumption now is that we were dealing with AI, like partially, until we triggered something in the AI to go and get Deb. Yeah. Right, yeah. You see what I'm saying? So okay. this is just this the is AI. AI? This must just be the AI portion. Okay, thank you genuinely for that breakdown. Well, let me, I can just ask. Deb, is it really you or are you AI? I think that answered my question, right? Yeah, this is the this is the program. I think you already answered my question. It's not really you, is it? I'm sorry. Oh, okay. So this seems like it's more primitive than before, to be honest with you. Well, you got to start all conversations or questions with D3B. Okay. So this is basically like like a Siri. Yeah, not, but yeah, Siri's connected to the internet. So this is basically some sort of archival record in which it has some sort of personal user interface designed to like give off some sort of, I don't know, but look, we can probably still access information on yeah. the SD card through this that she has stored for us. Yeah, yeah we I just have so. to figure out how to get her to answer we... the right question. Yeah, okay. exactly. Okay. Yeah, username. How about the, the one that I care about most right now? D3B, is Deb alive? Is she there? I'm both alive and dead. Both alive and dead? What? So what, is that, what does that mean? Does that mean that her computer AI self is alive, but her body is gone? <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. No, I mean, that makes it sound like the AI is a failsafe so that if she actually yeah. dies in real life, then she's still alive in a way. I think that means she's actually dead. Well, then who sent this to us? Maybe she sent it before oh, she died. Let me, she let me she ask. Was, she knew she was being hunted. Let me ask, what does that mean? Because your AI still exists? Why would she have sent this to us unless she knew she was gonna die? Maybe, I mean, she knew she was being hunted. Maybe she did. Yeah, exactly. So she, so she was talking about sacrifice. Was she intentionally sacrificing herself? The, the part of the, the phone call about the pawn and the king? Exactly. Was she intentionally sacrificing herself and she was, this was the way she was gonna tell us that she was murdered? D3B, how much do you know about Deb's murder. Analyzing. I was indeed murdered, but I cannot see who committed the crime. What? what? So this is two two different sources that, telling us now that that Deb has been murdered. She sent this to us with the message. Yeah, I'm dead. Is, yeah. But then told us to meet her. And then I think this was, I think this was a failsafe. I, I think this was just like, in case. It, no, because because think about it. She she sent us this, but if we would have met her in person, she could have easily been like, "Hey, I sent you something like just in case I died." Yeah, disregard so like disregard that. it because she knew that there were gonna be like that there were basically only two ways that that day was gonna go. Either she was gonna sh show up at the meetup or not, and if she didn't, then something bad happened. Okay, so the question then is, why meet us at all if she could just send us a package with all the information that's- Matt, we haven't talked to her in seven months, and the last time we talked to her through something like this, we didn't trust her at all. <sighs> so I, I, ju I just think she was trying to like, actually bridge that gap in our relationship with her. D3B, how do you know that for certain? I knew I would be. What? She, she just her. said, yeah, wow. She just what? confirmed what we just theorized about. So then, okay. what? Please. Question mark? Matt, you gotta use your name. I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Oh. So she knew that. She knew what? She knew she was going to be murdered. murdered. But when, maybe, is the I question don't, I don't here. Know. I don't know. Maybe she thought she had time to meet us. 
There's no way you're dead. You can't be dead. Not after everything we have been through. I got you to answer back before I need the correct trigger word. What about payphone? I'm sorry. I didn't get that. Could you please start all questions with D3B? Why did she make that a thing? Like, why? <laughs> that you have to put D3B yeah. at the beginning. Feels I like don't know. just a weird it's power an... move. Well, yeah, I mean, like, what, is there another name? That just... Who else would we be talking to? <laughs> D3B payphone. D3B murder. How do we unlock them? She knows us, dude. She knows us better than we know us. Yeah, that's okay. that's actually intensely. Like how how well could she have programmed this to know that? Well, then can you just say that's some three tell chats. us everything? Like D three B. So does that mean that Deb is really dead and she's not coming back? Unnecessary stress. I don't know. Deb is dead. She's gone. Mm -hmm. Deb is dead. And she left us her robot. D3B. You said you knew you would be. What does that mean? I knew that I would be murdered. By who and which one was always unclear. What? Mmm. So she, was she just when? threatened? Was she, yeah, was she just like threatened a bunch? It means there's probably multiple people who want her dead. Exactly. D3B. What are we supposed to do now? Project 863 was created to stop Nelson Pfeiffer. Don't we already know that? Yeah. So now we just have to stop him on our own? Yeah. I'm D3B. We get that, but we need direction. Do you know if finding Deb's killer will help us? Yes. Yes? Okay. I mean, is this Sure. Is this the ne next path we have to go on? Like that makes solving sense. a murder? We that have makes to solve sense. Deb's murder. Th they're just trying to hide something or they're trying to stop something. Right? Yeah, I mean, She'd I, sacrifice her own life for this? If she's been committed to this project for this long, yeah. of course she would sacrifice herself for it. D3B. Is there anything that might help us? Anyone you remember that might have the capability of doing this? There's no way we can go through 356 people and narrow it down to one. Well, we can, you know, we can figure out how many of those people are still alive, right? Oh, yeah. We can figure out It's not like it's many... not possible, it's just a freaking huge task. I, I have a guess, Nelson yeah. Cyphus. I, I have another one, Gary Reynolds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? yeah. Okay, so that's irrelevant. 365 people, you might as well just survey the, the entire valley, right? Yeah. Like. That's not what's gonna help. What's gonna help is if she knew she was gonna die. Okay, D3B, tell us this. If you knew you were going to die, why didn't you avoid it or hide? Why come out of hiding at all if you knew this was going to happen? She's literally said. She's literally said that exact same thing to us before. There, there's something bigger at play here. I mean, the 
you you would only like sacrifice yourself if you knew there was n- literally no other way or if it had to happen. Yeah. I mean, I feel like the only way she would have is if it meant stopping Cyphus. So like did she stop Cyphus? <laughs> it doesn't sound like it. Well, maybe it's just one of the this steps. This can't be the end. Like D3B. This can't be the end, can it? <laughs> She just said, this is, this is my role. I have a request. D3B. What is it? I am the black little thing. You may find it helping you now more than ever before. Wait, the journal? Do we have it in here? It's right here. Look in the journal. Okay, thank you. Program. I mean, it's just the same. Just the same letter. What now? So there it is. Time to solve a murder. And I really don't know where to start. I really don't know what to do. And the only thing I can think of is to ask you for help. Because the thing I know for a fact is that. We're not gonna be able to do this without you. So please, uh, there's a link down in the description below. There's a playlist I put together with, I think maybe the most relevant videos that you might wanna watch to get the relevant facts to help us solve this. There's not much there, but if I missed anything, let me know down in the comments below and let me know on Reddit. And I'll see you next time. Why'd you move the Mountaineer? I didn't move the Mountaineer. Someone wanted to move the Mountaineer. It's parked in that same spot. Why? Dude, what is happening? What is happening? I have no idea, bro. What was the code again? Dude, dude. Okay, we're four minutes out. I'm, I'm excited, personally. I'm just a little nervous being here. Why would Deb be late? Come on, why wouldn't she be here already? Hello?